What up guys, XX Pocket Knife here today and today we're gonna be working on the big 4.7 V8 in my uncle's green Sequoia. So what the case is, is we went mudding yesterday, went off-roading and I think we got a little bit too much mud <clears throat> or water splashed up into the alternator down here. Which didn't have a skid plate here so it didn't help and the car was lurching when we got to town luckily so yeah um, I think we're gonna be replacing that today and diagnosing these electric gremlins the windows first the first <clears throat> symptom was the window was was not rolling down and then um, yeah, it was working fine, and then while we were driving on the highway, like a few minutes later, it decides to stop, and we just are confused. And then when we get in town, which is like an hour out from where we go off-roading, the car just starts to stutter. And I'm assuming it's the, or um, we tested the battery and alternator, and we pulled this negative plug in. Turns out it was the alternator because the car would not run without the battery on here, which this battery is probably dead by now because we drove on it for, I assume, pretty far in order for the car to not make it home. But we played our luck out well and we got home. And it's, as you can see here, really nasty. Had to roll up the carpet because I didn't want to get it muddy. And it's going to be raining for... Um, the next few days so we better knock this out before conditions get worse this is a uh, mater the what would you call it overnight mechanic the mechanic of Amazon I deliver quickly let's see how quickly I can get this done all right guys update let me turn off this music Update, disconnect your battery before doing your alternator. Rookie mistake. I got too excited about wrenching. This is a pretty self-explanatory alternator though. Three bolts up front. Um, I think one's hidden behind this power steering pulley right here. Uh, you wanna undo your tensioner first. And then you can undo all your little uh, plugs in your um, bolts. There's one here, one on the other side. Almost out, like 90%, 80% of the way there. I just gotta take off the last bolt and I'm done. See how long this takes. I'm, I'm gonna go on time lapse. I'm gonna forget about that. Oh yeah, by the way, actually, take a look under here. Look at all that. All this underside is gonna have to get cleaned. Muddy and greggy, and it's starting to pour a bit more. Yeah. Definitely not good. Let's try to get this out of the way. We take this car to a car wash or something. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. start over here you actually need to take the power steering bolts out should I remember that so yeah that pump is now loose I took out the took off this reservoir see all those clamps are really greasy yeah you wanna I might probably put on some uh, screw on clamps or like the um, these band style clamps where you can tighten so those tension clamps they get loose over time causing a slight leak, but <clears throat> pull the alternator off here. New one on the right right here. Old one, the left. 
Uh, both AutoZone, as you can see. This one's probably a slightly different model. It looks like different colored pulley, but I mean, I guess it's done its job, but somehow got soaked and died. We'll see what happens. Throw it back in time lapse mode, and I'll throw this back on it. Update you guys. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on. What's up guys? Back here. Just completed everything. Let's take a look actually. Don't make that rookie mistake of leaving that connected and ground out when you disconnect your alternator. <laughs> Got the belt, a new belt on here, serpentine belt. A little bit challenging, but just do the alternator last. That's what I would recommend. Previous on there was Day Dayco, I think. Deco brand belt. It's always a good thing just to change it out when you're doing the alternator. Unless you know it's like brand making news. But yeah, let's start it up and uh, let's see what happens. But actually, let me go get the power steering clamps for some power for the power steering hose hoses. Get that situated first. Fighting to create a song. I don't on this son of a gun ever since probably like seven eight yeah like eight it's been like a few hours at least an hour almost two hours i would say not too bad of a job though not complaining Done worse. keys in my pocket Cars not even staying running, which is not a good
Good grief, guys. I think we got another issue. Guess it was never the alternator. Let's see if we could diagnose it. Guys, take two. Had to freaking tear apart this whole uh, fuse panel box. I think I'm a bobber. Quick rundown is unbolt this off, pop off the bottom. There's gonna be some tabs like on the side right here. Two on this side, I think one on this side. And then this whole top carcass comes out. And then to pop out this, you gotta press in these little tabs right here. One, two, and there's like three I think in here. After you take this out, yeah. One, two, three. This thing comes out. Uh, take out the 10 millimeter bolts, bolting it from this side and this side. And um, pop in the new fuse. Here's what I went with. Old one right here. Definitely did not check this alternator fuse. I did not think of it. It, it would make sense though why it would have blown. This is the new one right here, that white one. And, oh shit, almost forgot. Plug these guys back in. Plug these guys back in and I'll do a startup again right now. Hers like a kitten. That alternator was not bad after all. Just shorted the shorted the alternator fuse somehow. But I'm gonna button this. I'm gonna button up this Sequoia and we're gonna wrap this up. Take it for a spin around the block. Sequoia definitely has some light issues, but we'll resolve that later. This is definitely night and day difference from. Freaking Forerunner. Just out of the garage, let's uh. You guys, we got the Sequoia up and running. for a spin around the block and see how she drives. Uh, need the new wipers. 254 on the dash. Definitely needs probably like a little alignment. Until it's off, going to the left more. play around with the four-wheel drive in this in the center locker so I'm pretty interested in what is this compared to Mr. Ford Runner oh yes yeah, so we need to drive through these puddles
All right, four wheel drive. Look down here. Tap this guy. That's blinking. Center locker is blinking. Green lights are on all four. Four wheels on. Then center locker. Yeah, the center locker is gone. Let's see. Go to center locker. Neutral, I think. Or no, I don't think we have to go to neutral. Let's see. Oh yeah, center, you can center lock and high guys. Look at that, high gear still. Yeah, you can definitely center lock and high. Yeah, let's go back around one more time. Feel that? That's the uh, power being distributed equally when we turn. Jerking the car. Let's see. And then we stop here. Let's see now. We want to go to low four, so. Let's try this neutral. You move your stick right here. Neutral, low. Now we should be in low four. There you go, low four. And then you want to disengage low four. You want to disengage everything low gear because you're in low gear you have to go back to neutral up here and then you just shift back disengage press your buttons there you go did you hear that click back in two now let's do a little photo shoot with this car I've always been jealous of the Sequoia size. Let's see how she looks. It's not the flexiest obstacle, but check it out. Yes. The Sequoia is it. She was my second option if I did not pick up that Forerunner. Yes. This looks sick. Just gotta clean off all the mud. Let's head home, pressure washer, and she should be good to go. All right, guys, what's up? X Pocket Knife here. Um, in the end, though, the Sequoia did stay running with that new alternator and um, alternator fuse but it was not the alternator or alternator fuse or well, it was the alternator fuse and the ecu ignition fuse but there's an exposed um, wire from the battery to the alternator on that harness it was sitting on the front uh, cross or frame route and my uncle saw that and um, we just duct taped the entire harness and we covered it with some um, wire loom and zip tied it on there and so far there has been no issue so yeah we figured it out it was it wasn't what we thought it was after doing some further research and yeah I was like pretty baffled because I don't know I think it was the oil that 
caused the um, harness to get corroded and um, kind of destroyed it and it was exposed wire and then just bare metal to the frame and I think it was getting grounded or something. Kept causing a short out so um, if you run into this issue you, the first symptoms will be your windows will stop working and you'll see ABS light on your dash but yeah if you don't see those symptoms then um, if you don't have those then that's how you know that your car is still fine. And you're also, when you run into this issue, um, your car will be lurching while you're driving. I think that might have been because the car I was running had lower voltage and it was just dying. But yeah, that's the solution to this issue, which was not what we expected. Exposed ground wire, so... Check your harnesses and make sure you got no exposed wires and you should be good to go. Alrighty guys, peace out.